we're going to be talking about one particular move that I do to every client and I hadn't done it to myself in a while and I did it this morning in the shower and I was like why do I forget to do this <laughs> if you want to know what move will make your neck look thinner and your face drain better stay tuned that's coming up next <music> Welcome back, Christine Beyer here, licensed esthetician for 22 years. And on this channel, we talk about your skincare journey because it's never one thing that makes your face look better, it's a whole combination of things. In this video, I just wanted to show you a move. I haven't talked about it in a while. I do it to every single client and it counteracts what most of us do all the time. What do we do? We have our heads tilted into our phones, tilted onto our screens, looking at our computers, so, or hunched, looking at our computers. So what do I do to every client to undo all that? I release tech neck. So I release this sternocleidomastoid. So this big ropey muscle here, it's one of the muscles that helps hold up your head but it gets very contracted from going like this all the time. So I start, when I do my cleansing routine on clients, I start doing this. So I'll, I'll spread my cleanser. So we're gonna pinch and go up and down, up and down that. When I spread my cleanser, and once I get it spread, I just start, I'm just like a little machine going up and down their sternal clean on mastoid. And so, this may not seem like a big thing, but it really, really is. Because it's so contracted on most people, it can affect the way the face drains because 90% of your lymph nodes that collect waste is right here, right underneath here. And so I have a lot of clients past 40, past 30, they actually look fuller through here. They look heavier than they are. And then I will do this one move I will release their sternocleidomastoid and they start draining. They drain better. I've had people that will lose like a size in their face. <laughs> They're like, what? And they leave and their faces drain so much. Yeah, so if this is very tight on you, it's gonna affect a lot of things. The way your face drains, the way the muscles in your face lay, it seems so innocuous like it's no big deal to have this tight and it also pulls us forward right it gives us that hunchback and we don't want that and I don't know if you guys ever watched that Bob and Brad they're they've been on YouTube for like I don't know how long probably as long as me and they're these these old guys and they're funny as heck and they are physical therapists I believe and before they do they teach like a neck tuck to get the forward head tilt, to work on forward head, head pro projection. They teach like neck tucks and all sorts of stuff, but they always emphasize before you start doing these exercises to get your neck back, stacked up on your head, back up on your body, to release the sternocleidomastoid. They at least stretch it, you know, the head side to side, something stretch it. But this is really, this is a deep release. And so you'll go up and down, you're just pinching. You'll go up and down and you'll get, you'll get some redness. Go up and down and as you pinch, now don't go too crazy here. Use some common sense. <laughs> but as you pinch, it's gonna release more and more. And you can even get up here. This feels so good. My clients are just like, oh, that hurts so good. <laughs> Cause it's always contracted. So while we do this, I'm gonna just tell you what I've been up to. Last week, I went to Bozeman, Montana. I had never been to Montana. What a gorgeous place. Oh my goodness. I was like, how is this place? So it was a little bit colder than Indianapolis, where I am. I got to go hiking. I actually did not go to Yellowstone because I was looking at it and like Old Faithful was 
almost three hours from where I was. And I was like, I don't want to spend my last day in Montana in a car. <laughs> so we will go back. I've decided I want to do a family trip to Yellowstone. So Bozeman, that's the Bozeman Yellowstone Airport that you land in. And so Bozeman is actually surrounded on three sides by the Gallatin Mountains, Gallatin, Gallatin Mountains. And so there's plenty of hiking to do even before you get to Yellowstone. So I just went to Creek something. I don't know, but I met a little friend and she was she was there with her dogs. And I'm like, how long does this trail go? Because you're supposed to take it and it takes you to the very tippy top of this. I'll show you a picture. I mean, you know, pictures don't do justice to mountains. They just don't. Your iPhone does not do justice to the, mad, the majestic, you know, how the depth and how tall and how gorgeous these mountains are. It just doesn't do it justice. But here at the tippy top of this mountain is where this trail ended. And she's like, well, yeah, it's quite a trek at the end. She's like, you got some water? And I'm like, I think I want to need a team, not just some water to get up there. So we went pretty far and she showed me this little camping ground at the at this little bend in the river. It was so adorable. I was just they have family reunions there and her dogs are jumping all around and having the time of their lives. It was just fun. It was it I I, I love meeting locals, right? Because she's like, Oh, you have to go here for breakfast in the morning, you have to do this, you have to and I'm like <laughs> I I you know, Bozeman I think I think there's a lot of money there because they've got some really expensive houses and the whole place looks kind of new to me. So after you've gone up and down this Sternoquita Masoretic a few times, you'll start to feel areas that tend to want to hold on to more and it's usually your dominant side. So I'm a lefty and so I have more sort of mealiness and it's just denser, the muscles sort of denser and mm, doesn't want to release as quickly as my right side. So just sort of spend some extra time in those areas that feel extra sort of rocky or lumpy. <laughs> and you're 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 being gentle here, but you're really going for that muscle. You're not and if you have nails, please don't dig them into your skin. Turn your turn your hands sideways and just use the sides. So, so yeah, it was a lot of fun and I could not believe how good the restaurants were. <laughs> we went to part of the BBC, the Beauty Biz Club, and that's run by Lori Crete and I'm in her expansion group of gals. So we meet twice a year in person and so this time we met in Bozeman, Montana, because that is where the headquarters of Schedulicity, which is the online scheduler that I've used, I've used them for many years. And you know, the cool thing about Schedulicity is that during the pandemic, they had just opened up their headquarters, their beautiful two story, it's not huge or anything, but their beautiful two story headquarters where they left everything sort of open so that you could see the mountains on all sides of the building just a gorgeous place but two weeks after they opened their doors COVID happened the lockdown happened and he's like oh my god because his whole business is people like me people who do massage facials hair for a living and everybody had to close down he's like well that's not good and so it took him i think he decided about, about a week or two into the pandemic he was just going to make the Schedulicity service free. And he he said that, don't worry, we're not gonna auto auto debit your account. We're just gonna, you're, it's gonna be free for three months or something. And it ended up being free like for the rest of the year, I remember. And I thought, wow, that is so kind. That's just such a good thing to do during the pandemic when people like, well, everybody was really affected, but people who worked in close proximity, like, estheticians, hairstylists, we all suffered so much, massage therapists, because we couldn't work, couldn't work. And the California girls had it worse. It just went on and on for them where they couldn't work. So I thought that was a really solid thing to do for your client base when 
when everybody's businesses just went to crap, he stepped up to the plate and said, I'm going to do the hard thing. I'm going to do the right thing, the hard thing, but it's the right thing. And he, he was talking about this, and it was a really moving speech. And I just remember getting that email from them saying it was going to be free. And I was like, wow, that is such a cool thing to have kind. And good energy in that building, good people. Anyway, it was, it was an interesting place. The first day I got there, okay, so this should be, this should be loosening up. You, you can do a little bit of lymph drainage. I mean, it's it will happen by itself, but you can do a little scoop, make a scoop here, scoop down. And lymph, lymph is pretty superficial unless it's up stuck underneath this fat. So when I first got there, I my phone, I, I spent the entire flight editing two videos, like crazy. And then it turns out I had 12% left on my phone. I was like, oh my God, I'm gonna, my phone's gonna die. You know? I went and I got into my rental car or my rental SUV, and for some reason the wireless charger would not work. Like I thought it was working. I put my GPS on. Of course, it's, GPS sucks up a ton of battery. And I was like, oh no, you know, how am I gonna? So, so the owner of Schedulicity was having a party at his ranch that first day, and I thought, if I go to the hotel. I will not go to this meet and greet. I do. I know myself. I'll go to the hotel and I want to just like chill out, and sleep, relax, whatever. So I said, no, I'm going straight to the party. So my phone is dying. I'm in the middle of nowhere. The wireless charger's not working. I'm like, oh, I got a cord for that. So I pulled off the road, searched for my cord, and went to plug it in. I had a US C. <laughs> And it was USB. So I'm like, okay, my cord doesn't work. Great. So I, I start driving again and I look and I see a Toyota dealership. I'm like, yes, I'm gonna go into the Toyota dealership and ask them why this wireless charger's not working and get some juice. Went to one door, locked. Next door, locked. <laughs> like The Toyota dealership was closed. It's closed. So I was basically like, oh my God, I'm gonna have to go to some random house and ask them for juice. And that's what I did. And the girl was real standoffish. And she's like, well, hold on a second. And I was like, so she disappeared for a while and then she came back and she was like, she's like, well, my property, I'm asking my property manager, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, look, you can just take my phone. This is a fast charger, take it. And I'll put my makeup on the car and I'll come back in like 10 minutes and, and see where it is. And so we did that and it was fine she handed it back to me it was 17 percent. i was able to find jerry's house jerry's ranch which was gorgeous and there were horses and i was like god this is like insane how beautiful this is so yeah and then i went and i plugged that sucker in right away <laughs> it's like, but she's like the girl's like well what's the address i'm like i don't know it's in my phone she's like do you know the guy's name i'm like i a jerry from schedulicity <laughs> So that was my that was my trip. But then everybody was drinking wine. They're like, Christine, calm down, have some wine. But I'm just like, oh my God, I cannot believe how helpless I felt. <laughs> Once you release this, you should have better drainage and you, you'll have better mobility in your neck too. You might notice it's a little easier to turn your neck, but we need to keep that neck mobility because without neck mobility, we're not gonna have that, well, uh, and it, on top of all the, horrible things that happen from not having mobility, we're not, our face is not gonna drain. I know that's why you're here and that's what you wanna know. Our face is not gonna drain properly because it is just locked tight from this scrunched up tech neck, Cernocleo Master that we got going on. Okay, thanks for watching, talk to you soon. Bye now. Real quick, I have a new product coming out. It's coming Friday. It's very nourishing, it's wonderful. Like if you have a sensitive skin and you can't use uh, Scopla, for example, if that's too active for you. It's nourishing, it's hydrating, it's lighter than most. It's actually a one and done where you can use it as a serum and a cream and put your sunscreen on top and I am loving this for summer skin. Stay tuned, that's coming up Friday.